Hey, what's going on, guys? Shane O. And uh, I want to talk about the new Ford Explorer that's coming out. The last one, uh, a lot of people weren't thrilled about the screen on it, which I think a lot of people got the smaller one. <laughs> no one likes that vertical screen. The interior was okay. The outside was better. Um, I think it lost a little bit of that Explorer look. It's more streetable than off-roadable, like, you know, from Jurassic Park, stuff like that. Anyway, overall, uh, you know, better. But a lot of people don't like the, uh, you know, they didn't like a lot of things about it. The new one coming out is a far better upgrade, like, version. Like, just the next completely better inside, 100%. Um, the outside looks great, except my only deboggle is the front end, which I think they're going to save for the next refresh in three years. That's, this is the route they go. But overall, it looks great. I just think that the front end with the black, completely blacked out grill looks a little too Chevy-ish. A little too Silverado, if you say, you know. So, that's what Ford, uh, I think they just need to connect that middle piece in front of that grill. Connect it, paint it, may, you know, do some type of design with it, but that's my only debacle with the new Explorer. Other than that, you're probably going to see a, a higher price tag. Um, because, it's, you know, it's going to have more tech in it, more screens, more leather, more everything else. The price, again, is going to go up. Obviously, it's going to go up. And, uh, but, you know, the ST model is pretty cool. you got 400 horsepower. I'm sure that'll be back. It might have more horsepower, but I think a lot of people are going to want to see that V8 coming in. That would be a big seller for people if it came with the 5 up. All right, guys. I'm back. Um, yeah. So what I'm what I'm saying is that the front end. If you look at the front, excuse me. If you look at the front end of the grill, uh, you know it's the new, you know, you know, more of a fad maybe or something like that. But it does it does look a little. I think they could do better. But obviously, when they make designs, they want to do a refresh like they did this one. So when they first make a design for a vehicle, they actually have to think three years ahead of time. On a lot of vehicles, they have to think three years. What can we do to refresh it? What can we do to refresh it? So in three years, you're going to see like probably another edition come out. You're going to see uh, a revamped front end. The taillights are most likely going to stay the same. Um, the interior is pretty much going to stay the same, except they might do a couple other touches to it. But that's how it is around here. It's like you're having a car show. Um, but anyway, um, so I think that's, as far as... As far as everything else they did, especially the interior, is a big jump from the old interior. I just was not a fan. Uh, if you're shopping around for an SUV, the Explorer would not be on my list, even the ST model. Even though, you know, 400 horsepower, 400 pound feet of torque is not a bad deal for that level. Um, still, in my opinion, still kind of pricey. But... I think Ford is really missing out on the V8 option. I think that's what they need in there. Besides the little debacle at the front end, everything else is great. But they're missing out on the on the 5.0 supercharged, you know, that that area. Leave the comments down below if you think that the Explorer should get a 5.0 liter, maybe even a 5.2. Uh, I think Ford really needs to jump back on the bandwagon their V8s all together. I made a video about the 429. That's like an intro video that they should have made uh, that people went waiting for for a very long time is to finally get a big boy in there. Do I think they should have V8 options always? Yes. I think they do because that's what people want. Especially when you're spending like fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000 plus on a car. Obviously you can afford it. You should have like a intro, like a intro, like you can make a small block V8 and then make an EcoBoost version of that. You don't have to have the V6, but you can also you can do it that way. You know, you can have a, bring back the 289 or something like that, and you know, 350 horsepower or something. You know, a lot of people would go for this because you have a rumble, you got some power, you got some torque. You know, overall the fuel the fuel economy is pretty decent. You know, the variable valve timing and stuff like that. But at least an option, you know what I'm saying? Um, and you just have more motor options. So I, I think that's the one thing I would like the, the Ford Explorer to go back to, or go to, in general, 
is to offer at least the Coyote engine in it. I think a lot of people would go for it. Offer a Shelby Edition, um, not just an ST. For, for, for the power it has, though, it's still re very reasonable. But when you have like the Rangos and stuff and Dodges coming out that inline turbo with all these higher specs and stuff, you got to compete. But overall, the vehicle itself, I think that it's something to take a look at when it comes out. I think you should put it on your list, especially this Timberland edition looks really good. Except for that grill, I, I probably would spend the extra money to connect the grill as far as a paint job. I think it just would look better if it, it, it I think it would look more even out if it connected that middle piece. Just overall in the vehicle. It just it just it, it's that's the only bug. That's really the biggest dimple in that in that car is the is to have the grill just do, like kind of like it should just connect the grill. Like connect the body in the middle. <laughs> and then it would be fine. I'm sure uh you know, some people are out there are probably going to do that, maybe some aftermarket or something like that. But I think the, that's that's what's going to happen probably in the next three years is that they're going to revamp the front end, and that's probably what they're going to do. Again, they're always, they're, they're always going to think like three years ahead and three years after that, and because they want something new to come out. Overall, I give it a, uh, a Shane. I'm going to give it a Shane score. <laughs> I'm going to give it a Shane score of a. B, I would say a B plus, B plus. That's a good score for that car. Uh, I'm gonna start scoring cars. <laughs> I'm gonna nitpick a little bit on them. You know, uh, this is a Ford channel. I like Fords. I'm gonna be doing like uh, other other cars uh, when I get a chance to, guys. Pretty much everything. You know, when I have the time. Um, I really appreciate you stopping by. Subscribe if you like my opinions. Um, you know, I give honest opinions. I'm an artist, so I look at, you know, I see, like, what can and can be done, this and this and that. Um, I'll be talking about Dodge and where they're going, stuff like that. So, I think, overall, I like Ford, but I'm going to be, uh, doing, I used to have a channel on Ford, but I'm going to be, I'm going to be spreading out, just in cars in general, you know, on my spare time. So, um, I'll see you later, but, uh, anyway, so, uh, just leave the comments down below. Talk about it, debate about it. Do you think uh, everything's good with the new Ford Explorer? Do you like the Timberland Edition? Is it off-road worthy? You know, I'm sure it's more off-road off worthy than the other vehicles, but it's still very road worthy. And um, I, I think Ford Explorer can go. Let's just put it this way. I think they can do a mix and have Bronco kind of. They have the Bronco Bronco Sport. Which the Bronco Sport, which you know, I, I can do another video, which I, I actually I will save it for the video, <laughs> for the whole Bronco thing, and then I'll go back to. But I, what I think they should do, as far as the Explorers, I think they can tiptoe over there and get some uh, get some some new stuff coming out. Maybe an Explorer that you can take uh, the top, maybe has a half top or something you can take off or something like that. You know. Start mixing it up a bit. Get 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 something. For, you know, get get a little more for your money. I'll see you guys later.